morning. Hi, I'm Jen. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about my adventures as a 50-something silver and solo traveler. And today I am on my very first princess cruise. We're in the Orkney Islands, just coming in early this morning. And I have a tour booked to go and see the Ring of Bradgar and Stones, Standing Stones of Stennis. Now, the Ring of Bradgar, I guess, is famous because it's a prehistoric henge and a circular one at that. So it ranks only with uh, the one at Avesbury, Avesbury and Stonehenge uh, for being circular in nature for a henge. And it's also probably older than both of those. And then the um, Standing Stones of Stennis are also, they think, prehistoric. And uh, both of these sites are part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So I'm really ticking boxes on this tour for UNESCO World Her Heritage Sites because I also saw the uh, Giant's Causeway. I went to Westminster Abbey. <laughs> I saw the Book of Kells. Um, so this has been a pretty great trip for me. Anyhow, it looks like kind of a nice day and the sea is much calmer than it was last night. It was very bumpy, very. So I'm just in Horizon Court having breakfast. And here's my lovely little view. It looks like a very pretty little island. And the Orkney Islands are way to the north of Scotland. Way to the north. So we are in the North Atlantic. And I believe the Orkneys are closer to Norway than they are to England. So there. And we leave sharply at 7 a.m. from the Vista Lounge or Princess Live Theater on 7th floor, on 7th deck. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll catch you up then. This is Balfour Castle. first um, tour excursion with Princess, not booked on my own, and we meet in the Princess Theater, and it's not midships, it's way at the front. So we've been directed to uh, wait, maybe we get a presentation, I don't know. <laughs> Have a nice day, Jennifer. Thank you. So just off the ramp, off the ship, and heading towards our tour bus in Kirkwall. Today you will have regal princess in Bikai. In not Bikai. It's going to be a beautiful day. You're at 59 degrees north here, 
so we run a, a parallel with uh, St. Petersburg in Russia or Helsinki. That's where we are. We're a long way north. But our climate is very, very different to theirs. Very different. They would have a continent. These are all spider webs. A whole field of them. Walking up to the rings of Rodger. Well, let me say that Orkney is a stunning, stunning place. And we have the perfect morning for it. Hello. with the rings of Brogdar. About five and a half million years old. Five and a half thousand years old. And this is the ring of brown. Sure. Beautiful. We're at the Isle of Bercy and we are looking at the North Sea right now. And as we go to the other side of the Isle of Bercy is the North Atlantic. So this is where the North Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean. Still in North. So I finished my tour and got back to the cruise bus and, or the cruise ship and they have free shuttle buses going from the cruise ship into downtown Kirkwall. And so I took that and I'm in downtown Kirkwall. At the travel center. And they've got a beautiful 900-year-old cathedral here. And some other incredibly old buildings. And then I'm doing a distillery tour at the Highland Distillery, just up the street. So here I am in front of 
the cathedral in Kirkwall, Orkney. It's 900 years old. Had a nice lady offer to take my picture for me, but uh, it's not that kind of picture taking. I'll go inside if I can, if I'm allowed to, but it's quite beautiful and still a great day. And here we are inside St. Magnus Cathedral. 900 years old. Stunning. get a picture of that stained glass window at the end. But. Wow. And it's a working church. Services are held daily. So this big tomb, I took a still picture of it as well is of John Ray and he was an Arctic explorer. And according to our tour guide on the bus, um, over a thousand Orkney men departed on Hudson's Bay ships to work for the Hudson's Bay in Canada uh, as part of the, the fur trade, I guess, obviously. And uh, many of them stayed, but many of them came back. And obviously this John Ray uh, was a fabulous um, Arctic explorer, a celebrated one. picked me up in front of St. Magnus' Cathedral in downtown Kirkwall, and they will take me back there. So I will be in plenty of time to catch the shuttle back to the ship. Um, I don't think I'll be able to film in there, but it's pretty impressive, a lot of Viking stuff. And uh, I have to tell you, I still don't have my land legs. I feel like the ship is a little bit rocking when I'm walking. <laughs> so, just beware. Also, forgot to add, the uh, my shuttle driver to Highland Park told me that at my tour at one o'clock, a group of eight canceled, and so it's going to be a very small tour. I think the tours were only 15 people. So if eight of them canceled, it could be a very small tour. I wonder if that was a group of eight from my ship because we're the only ship in port right now must have been must have been it's a small little town uh, Kirkwall's got 8,000 people living in it and it's the biggest city town in Orkney so back to it All right, so some thoughts on uh, yesterday in Orkney. Beautiful, and I have to go back because we weren't there long enough. Seeing the standing stones at the Ring of Brodker was amazing. I think it was better than seeing Stonehenge, honestly. Like, the setting is just stunning. 
in Orkney. Just stunning. Um, really gorgeous. Uh, the entire little island that we were on is gorgeous. Little towns, little villages, their way of life, the Viking heritage. Uh, also went to a uh, distillery, the Highland Park Distillery, and got a tour and a tasting, which was wonderful. Um, just a super, super stop to get off and explore and take a take a tour. Uh, I have to tell you that all of the tours are through Princess. I don't think that you could get one that wasn't a Princess sponsored tour. And uh, they were all sold out. So I booked mine ahead of time, but not far enough ahead of time because I couldn't get the one that I wanted. So maybe, you know, if you are looking at Orkney, um, look soon. Uh, for the the excursions because they tend to sell out quickly and they're worth it. Do it. All right.